Hi, uh, in this video uh, we're going to continue on the series of uh, video lectures on how to create a web form, uh, validate the data with JavaScript and uh, handle the data with PHP. Uh, this particular video has as objective to uh, teach you how to uh, get single value input from users, it's known as radio buttons. So the tags that we're going to review is the again the input tag but now of type radio as well as the field set and legend tags and as a useful resource again uh, i refer to w3 schools with this link now uh, before we uh, look at new material uh, in the previous video we looked at uh, the form basics and uh, how to get text input from uh, the user so we reviewed the tags form inputs and label and if you recall the previous assignment asked to add another field in the form to get the user's last name so what we had is a subscription form where we could only get the user's first name and what we want is also to get the user's last name so let's uh, review how to do that so essentially uh, this was the form that we developed previously and uh, what we need to do and this is uh, how it looked like so what I'm going to do is copy and paste the label and input tags and paste them just before the input type submit and edit the copied code in order to add also a last name in our form. So now we have an input of type text that has us a name, last name and ID, last name. And it also has a label, uh, a descriptive label for the user. So I'm gonna save uh, the file and then refresh the page. And as you can see, here is now we can also now get some input from the user's uh, last name now as you can see this is not uh, how a typical web form looks like so in, in order to improve the looks of the form what we need to do is to add a div tag so uh, what I'm gonna do is add and close the essentially the label and the uh, input tag within a div tag. As you see, I'm also making sure that the code is nicely indented so that it's, uh, it enhances uh, readability. So what I did is I enclosed the label and input tags within a div tag. And if I would save the file and refresh on the web browser, as you can see, now I have something that uh, looks more likely like a web form, so uh, where the uh, different fields are ordered uh, vertically. Now, since this is not uh, the perfect, the ideal look for a web form, I have also created in the meantime some CSS rules in order to uh, uh, make it uh, prettier. So what I'm gonna do is also link uh, that CSS file by uh, using the uh, link tag in order to make our form prettier. So this is something that I'm not going to cover in detail because I expect that you have already covered it and know it. But essentially what I'm doing, I'm just adding uh, the CSS rules in order to make our form look prettier. So what you're going to see is I, I changed the font type. I, I, I have now a gray, a light gray background on the form and I have added some margin so some white space uh, between uh, the form fields. So essentially, uh, 
we added so these were the steps that I covered also in the presentation. So we had uh, we added uh, the div tags to the last name, and this would be the the best kind of solution where we have also added the CSS rules in order to make our form look prettier. Nevertheless, for this video, so this kind of uh, summarizes the solution to the previous assignment. But in this video, as we said, our objective is to have a single value input by using the input type radio. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, obviously, you know, one type of um, data that you would request in a subscription form that uh, would typically request a subscription form would be uh, the uh, user's gender. Now, in order to do that, uh, as I said, again, we're going to use the input type, the input tag, but now as type, we need to choose the radio. And as mentioned earlier, we also need to have, the, we always need to give it a name. So in this case, this uh, has something to do about the uh, gender. And for the specifically now for the uh, type radio input, we need to give it a value to characterize uh, what happens when the user actually clicks on this uh, radio button. Now, in order also to identify the tag, we need to add the ID attribute and give it a descriptive value. So this is essentially how we can create with this line of uh, markup and this, uh, the, this input tag and those attributes, we can actually create a radio button as it's known. So I'm going to save again the HTML file and move to the browser. And if I would refresh then the browser, as you can see here, there is this radio button that I can click. Now, obviously, this is uh, doesn't make any sense to the user. So uh, what I need to add, as known from the previous video, is a label tag in order to give it Uh, some description and the label tag as known requires the for attribute and the for attribute needs to be the same with the ID attribute for the input that it is um, targeted for so if I would save now the HTML file and refresh it you're gonna see that now I have something which is more uh, descriptive. Nevertheless, uh, well, there are two genders, so we will need to copy and paste this code in order to add and then edit the copied codes in order to add the second gender. That's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, one thing to uh, highlight is that the name should be the same. So although the value is obviously different for the different gender and the ID attribute should be different for the male uh, case, the name for the radio button, so it's something the, that describes the, uh, the, the data input needs to be the same in both female and male. So I'm going to save the HTML file and refresh the page. And as you're going to see now, I have the option to choose any of the two uh, genders. Now, as you can see, uh, the looks of it is not ideal. So in order actually to improve the looks, so what we did previously is we added a, a div tag but nevertheless, in HTML5, there is a new tag that can help us with that, and that's the field set tag. So what I am going to do is I'm going to enclose 
or uh, the two options for gender within the field set tag and so that's the newer the new tag that we um, that we, we uh, add in this video and along with the uh, field set tag uh, you can also add a legend that describes the input that it is expected uh, within those fields form fields so what i did is i closed our input type radio in the field set tag and i also added a legend that would describe this field set so i save the html file and if i would refresh the page this is now how it looks like and, and it's uh, it is a bit better right so now you can choose uh, the gender the assignment for this video is to make another form field that would require a single input from the user and then to look at the information on our radio buttons at the following link of on w3c on w3schools.com and to find out how to have the option that you would expect would be most uh, mostly chosen by users and have it already select for the users so what i would i'm asking you is to think of another uh, case where you could include in a subscription form of radio buttons and if you would expect you know one of these options to be mostly chosen to have it already selected for your users <clears throat> In the next video, we're going to see another way of uh, selecting a single value. And uh, that can be done with the select tag and the option tag. So a useful resource for that would be uh, in the following URL right here. But that till the next video.